Hello everybody uh, from Essential Stencils. I'm Sharon from I Restore Stuff, right here to tell you another DIY stenciling tips and tricks and techniques. So today we're gonna to be working on some fun holiday season decor, some Christmassy stuff. And no, I don't think it's too early for Christmas. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, when do you start decorating for Christmas? But I like to have a bit of a lead time so that we can um, you know, get all that stuff ready. If you own a shop or you are a sign maker, this is the time where you need to be making your Christmassy decor to sell in your shops and things like that. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just gonna share our live on my page. So why don't you share the button too? Uh, let me just refresh. Do you remember what we did last week? I was over here, I'll show you what we were doing, an autumn sign and I was showing you some 3D stenciling techniques. So if you missed that live, you can always jump back in the live video section on Essential Stencils page here and you can find that live if you missed that one. I'm still trying to find our live, there we are. I'm gonna share, share it on my page. I restore stuff. So if you missed, I'm from Australia. If you're wondering about the accent, I'm just gonna share that on my page and share it in my I restore stuff you can too group. Um, so today, like I said, we're gonna be using, this is the stencil we'll be using. The set from Essential Stencils that contains a deer head, gorgeous deer head, and a buffalo check. So let me just mute that, where we go. Um, sharing to my group. Where are you tuning in from? I'd love to know. Delaware, Oklahoma, Ooh. New York. Any Australians out there? I love it when the Aussies come on and comment. So if you're from Oz, Oz, if you're from Australia, let me know you're here. All right, let's get stuck into it. Uh, I'm gonna be using some cushions to create this lovely look. Here's one example of what we're gonna be making with the deer head stencil. So I'm just using the Ikea cushions. Now this is the girly cushion and it's spelt G-U-R-L-I. That will be in the supply list. Essential stencil will add that to the supply list later on. So the first thing I'm going to do when you're using stencils on cushions or fabric, you will need to put a newspaper or some other piece of card or board on the inside so that the paint doesn't come through. And Celia, thank you so much for helping me today. Welcome again and let us know if you have any questions and Celia will let us know what they are. <clears throat> also stay tuned because three lucky winners will be winning this stencil set at the end of the live so stay there um, <clears throat> comment away because Celia is going to be doing the hard job of picking three winners for essential stencil live today. The first stencil we'll be using is the deer head to do this technique now I wanna get it right. So I usually put the zipper on the downside. I'm gonna do this upside down today so you can see it right way up. So we've got the zipper down here. I want the deer facing this way. And don't forget, put your newspaper or card in there. I'm just gonna eyeball it and add a bit of painter's tape. How are you all today this Monday night or if you're here in Australia, it's Tuesday morning. 10 o'clock in the morning, it's a lovely sunny day. It's spring, spring has sprung. And we're gonna be starting with the color black. I'm using Fusion Mineral Paints Coal Black. And yes, you can use Fusion's paint on fabric. Now, uh, the tip for that is to just, it, um, just to seal it in when you're finished with a hot, dry iron on the reverse of your fabric and that'll kind of seal it in. Now, a lot of you may have seen my funny um, paintbrush technique for stenciling. If I've got a regular furniture, because I've paint furniture, if I have a regular furniture painting brush, uh, I'm using today the Klingon R20, which is a round brush. I just turn it into a stencil brush by shortening the bristles a little bit with either an elastic band, rubber band, or you can wrap a piece of painter's tape around the outside of that just to kind of make it easier to stencil so it's a little bit firmer. So we've got our deer in place. <clears throat> I want you to look out for these little extra little bits that are quite thin. Look out for those. All right, We're, less is more on your stenciling brush. So I'm just gonna stencil away here. We're drying off the brush as much as we can first, but we've got a great big space on the inside here 
So I don't want to dry it off too much because we've got a lot of fabric to cover. So notice with this one, I'm kind of going in from the edges. I'm not doing my regular swirling method because I've got such a big area to cover. In fact, I'm hardly going to take any off there at all. Let us know where you're tuning in from and how's the weather? How's the weather in your neck of the woods? <laughs> Who have we got there, Celia? Don't forget the mic. We've got Ohio. 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 Sorry, These American Indiana, states, they're so confusing to say. Colorado, Pensacola, Florida. I mean, just all over the map, except they for not are. Australia yet. Oh, New we Zealand. haven't seen any Aussies. Come, Come on, my on. people, where are you? Mm -hmm. Say hello. Is there a New Zealander on there? That would be fun. Mm, that, that would count. Down um, under, we're all down question, under. One question, the source of yeah. the pillowcases again? Ikea. Cushion covers, Ikea. So yeah, hands up if you have an Ikea near you. I do believe they ship online, I don't know. I'm, you'd have to look up their website, but um, yeah. They're kind of few and far between in some areas of the country, I believe. But we're lucky to have ones fairly close to us. It's about 20 minutes away. All right, so I've just done that thin bit there and I've just gone over it in that direction. You don't want to go this way because it's going to lift up the thin little pieces. Did anyone say it's too early to decorate for Christmas? Do we have any Scrooges in the house? No. <laughs> Me, it is too early. You, oh, Middle Celia, of November come on. is the absolute earliest. <laughs> Middle my... of November? Oh, I think goodness. we tend to get earlier every year in our house. I have a daughter who's, well, both of them are really keen on Christmas. And one literally asks, I think we did it like on the 1st of November this year, that was my limit. But her birthday's at the end of October, so she figures if her birthday's done, why not decorate for Christmas? Mm. Yeah, so because in Australia, obviously, we don't have Thanksgiving here because we didn't have pilgrims come and all the other reasons. That <laughs> my husband's laughing at me like <laughs> I don't know anything about Please American explain. history. Please explain. You're American. You people know what I'm talking about. We don't have Thanksgiving because I'm from Australia. We, we... Yeah, but the service officers and the ambulance and fireys and we policemen. We are so grateful for all our helpers. Well, they did one of those kind of things. Paramedics so. and everything else. But yeah. So we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, so we don't have the big... And it's not fall here, obviously. No. It's spring. Spring. So we just kind of go straight into Christmas. Although some people might do Halloween. I don't know. It's not really big in Australia either. So... Nah, don't need Halloween. We've got plenty of time to decorate for Christmas here. Oh, yeah. Besides which, we need to do it with sand and shells. We do not I need know. to do it with... Well, snow would be nice. Snow be would cooler. be nice. But, yeah, it is very hot in Christmas in Australia, so... Um, do you yes. wash your cushion covers first? Uh, you could. I didn't. But if you want to, you can. Because probably it is better for the fabric or it shrinks the fabric or something to get the it... fusion just stays so well, you don't need to, right? Yeah, it doesn't. You don't really need to, but I know a lot of people when they do any kind of printing on fabric tend to wash it first. So up to you. I haven't experimented with that and the cushion covers that I've done uh, have stayed really well. I've actually also stenciled on t-shirts mm -hmm. as well. Great way to get just an ordinary $5 t-shirt from Kmart or Target or wherever. All right, so we've got enough on there to create a lovely Look, so we've got our deer, but I'm not going to take it off just yet. I'll just show you the nice sharp lines there because we had a fairly dry brush around the edges and I was moving from the outside in this way. So you don't want to move this way or the paint will go underneath. That makes sense. So now the next thing I'm going to do, and you can do this technique with any of essential stencils, stencils. <laughs> <laughs> that gets a mouthful sometimes. Any so stencil and any, any paint. Any stencil, any paint. You can actually do this layering method with the buffalo check. So uh, I'm going to use a different brush, obviously. And I'll do, a do you feel that you waste a lot of paint with all that wiping off? I haven't really. I, I don't feel like I'm wasting a lot because what I do is, I'll show you again, when I wipe off 
And if I'm going to use this again later, I can just put that in a plastic bag and reuse that. Uh, when I wipe off, I'm actually using just a little bit that's off the lid for a start. And I don't have a lot on my brush, but see the bits where I do have a bit more? I'll wipe it off on the edge. See how much is coming off there? So I'm actually putting it back in the jar. I'll use a different section of my newspaper that I'm brushing off. But I do need, see, and there's not a lot going on there. So, all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is layer the buffalo check over the top of the deer. And I'm just going to move these onto there. And do you use an easy press to heat it up? Or I just put it out now, hot sunshine. Yeah, we do. To heat up what the, the um, cushion after you've painted it. I'm not sure if I understand. I don't really know what an easy press is. Is that like a iron, iron steaming? I oh, like an ironing press. Mm. Oh. The other thing that I'll mention, when you do get your IKEA cushions, even if you don't wash them, you will want to iron them because they come with creases. So I ironed these before. Here's a black one. You could do it on a black one too. So I've ironed all those creases out so that it's easier to stencil on. All right, we've got our buffalo check right there on the deer head. So if you look closely, I don't need to be stenciling over here on these lines because that's not where the deer head is. So realistically, I only need to stencil in all of the sections where you see the deer head coming along. So no need to, st to brush the stencil out here because I'm just going onto plastic, okay? So we'll just start by using our white and I'm just using Fusion's color casement, which is one of their whitest whites. And obviously it's going to create a little bit of a gray look because you're doing white on top of black. And that's totally up to you if you want to do extra coats of that white to make it stand out more, or if you're just happy with that rustic-y kind of a look. Didn't dry my brush off too much then because there's a big bit that I need to cover. So in these stripes here, I'm just gonna go this way with the buffalo check stripes. Here's my little section here. I only need to do that little bit. Another section, just that little part there. So this goes a long way. If you can see, it's still brushing and I've only used, what, one or two wipes of the brush. And can you just repeat what kind of paint, whether or not it's fabric paint? Or it's not fabric paint. No, it's furniture paint, actually. It's fusion mineral paint. Uh, which I am a furniture painter, so I use it all the time for painting furniture and I've been using it to paint on t-shirts and cushions and it really sets really well. It's an acrylic based resin, so it probably is similar to some of the fabric paints out there, um, but it's not an actual fabric paint, no. So you just seal it and it... I've actually got a t-shirt that I wear all the time that's got a stencil on it that is washed often and it's still good as gold. And is it go. waterproof, that paint? Oh. It is, because um, it is on furniture. Yeah, it is. It's um, waterproof, but obviously your cushions aren't waterproof, so yeah, just have to test it out a bit. I don't know if you could seal it. I guess you could seal it with their, they've got like a tough coat sealer. You could try and seal it in with that, but because I use my cushions indoors, um, but yeah, it'd be good to know for outdoor cushions, I suppose, could be asking. Mm. And is Fusion an acrylic paint or a mineral paint, or what's the difference? It's Fusion mineral paint, so it is a mineral paint, and but it's a 100% acrylic based resin, which is the base of it. So you can find out heaps more about a lot. Did they say heaps in America? Did I say the wrong word? A lot more about um, Fusion Mineral Paint on their website. And um, oh, oh, what if I you did the white first and then did the black over Yes, the you sure can do that. I want you to put in the comments what colours would you see would contrast really nicely on the black cushion, for example. Okay, so if I'm going to do that black cushion, I'd love to know in the comments what would you use to... What colours would you use to do on that? All right, and don't forget... There's three lucky winners who are going to win this stencil set. It comes with both the buffalo check and the deer head. All right, are you ready to see the final reveal? So I really, you can see the coverage there. I haven't gone over it, like it's not a solid white, but I'm happy with that. I love a bit of rustic. I love a bit of farmhouse look. 
Uh, so when we lift it up here, you'll see, ta-da, it's our little deer head that's got buffalo check all over it. So now, how do you like one that? one lady did yes. ask if you put the buffalo check first. Yes. And then did the deer head on top. Yes, you can do that. And I've, that, I've seen lots of examples of that. That's a beautiful look. So you can do the whole thing, buffalo check right out to here. In fact, I'll show you these cushions that I have back here. So here's one I did, one I prepared earlier. You can see that the one I did earlier, I've actually covered the white a little bit more. So this has kind of got a, a little bit more of a gray look. But see these cushions back here? I actually just did the stencil. And so if you're doing that stencil look on a cushion, you will just repeat the pattern, put it right to the edge, and then come back to the edge here and repeat that pattern exactly where you left off, making sure that your checks all line up the right way. Um, but you can see that this deer head will look great on a buffalo check right there in the center. You can just cover that with red or whatever color you like, and it would completely cover all of that buffalo check there, but it would really pop and stand out on your cushion as well. Is there any other questions and about that one? did you put one? paper on the inside of the cushion? I did. Does it go through? Because you don't want it to go through. And look at that, this, it hasn't gone through because these girly cushions, that's the, brand, the IKEA name for their cushion, that's it there, girly. Um, they're quite thick, <clears throat> it's like a cotton drill and there's no paint on there so it hasn't come through. You can even see the back of the fabric there, it hasn't come through anywhere on there either. So the other thing I wanted to show you is you could do that same look on a sign. I'll show you what I did with the welcome sign here. You can use, your, use this buffalo check idea on your letters. Okay, so if you had the welcome sign, you've got the W, E that come together in the set. I just did it every second letter. Oh, let me pop that up for you. So I did it on every second letter. So I've put the letter down first, then I've gotten my buffalo check pattern and placed that over the E or wherever, just wherever you'd like, and then stenciled in those sections and there it is. So how do you like that idea? You can change up your stencils in another way. Now I just wanted to show you one other thing because while we're on to Christmas decor and that kind of thing, is there any other questions about that? Let us know. Don't forget that at the end too will be um, when you place your order, you can use my affiliate link and my coupon code for 10% off your essential stencil order. And the coupon code is I Restore Stuff, but they'll be posting that in the link towards the end of the live. So who would like to see some more Buffalo Check stenciling? Well, hang around, because I've got another idea for you for Christmas decor. I've just got these two books here, and I've just painted them in an off-white colour. You can choose white, you can choose any colour you like. And I'm going to do some buffalo check stenciling on the book. And this, look at that, it's perfect size for this book. Just telling you, we picked well, Celia. We did. I think we got these from, you know, like our re local recycling market. But that's what we're going to do just now. And stay tuned because there is going to be three lucky winners. I hope you're looking out, Celia, for that winning, those winning comments. Absolutely. <laughs> and they're all called Sharon today. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so once again, here's the stenciling techniques that I like to use, just drying off your brush. Now with this one, I'm not going to use painter's tape. I'm going to be brave and I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to hold it down with my hand really well. Uh, because basically there's nowhere to put the tape, so I'd be in a pickle. I'd be trying too hard, so I'm just going to brave it. So I've got hardly in it on the brush, but I want to start in these areas where there's a lot of space. This is the big square where there's um, no stencil area. And then going across, just with that kind of a motion, in those stripy areas. And again, just round and round, swirling in those areas. Okay, now I'm just going to dab a little bit more paint. Whoops, I've got to do this with one hand because my hand is holding that still. All right, now I haven't finished doing in there but I want to offload a little bit of that paint in that big section there. This is a really fun way to um, 
just add a little bit of beautiful buffalo check to your Christmas decor. Painting books. Now these aren't precious books. These are books that were thrown away. So book lovers, please don't hate me. They were being trashed. There's a lot of love coming through. A lot oh, of that's good. ruling over the great ideas. Oh, and the that's pillows, great. I'm and glad. And the cushion covers from IKEA and the wonderful checks. Yay. And stencils. They're just all lining up to buy. Yes. Awesome. Just trying to offload a bit there. All right. So swirling on the big areas and then just back and forth on those little striped areas. Now the paint really does dry fast, as with a lot of the furniture paints that are out there that I use. Here's another big bit. Got any Aussies joined us yet? Any Australians out there? Love I to hear have from not you. seen any. Let me know where you're from. Wakey, wakey. Or any other. Hey, it's 10 o'clock in the morning in Australia, coffee, coffee. right? <laughs> it's almost coffee time. Well, it probably is coffee time. I think we're out of milk, Marty. No. Like, picks some up. Oh, he picks oh, some out. Oh, oh, you know, it's always a disaster when you run out of milk and it's coffee time. If you want coffee, come here. This is the best <laughs> coffee in Brisbane. I am My husband's not joking. All, he's a little bit of a coffee snob. Can we call you that? <laughs> he has to. He's a big bit of a coffee snob. He has to have the right beans. He has to have the right grind. We've got an espresso machine. You love it, honey. I do love it. He's, he makes me coffees most mornings. Oh, okay. So I just want to show you this part because we're going to move it for the second part. I hope that I've got every bit. Yes, it's enough, guys. It's enough. You can play around. And it's kind of a rough look. I've just kind of swirled. and But there we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That I like that amazing. finish. And then I'm going to go just turn it onto the side. It kind of looks like a dictionary size book, but it's some kind of, I don't know, it's probably a romance novel or something like that. All and right. If you've got the right size book, but you don't want to, um, you, you want to actually keep the book, you can cover it in paper. Yes. What a great idea. Who just came up with save that? The books. Did you think of that, Celia? Or did, oh, I came up with brilliant that. Brilliant idea. You could save the books and just do this on paper and cover them. But otherwise, Using throwing away books is a really great way to recycle. Yes, it is. Okay. This is a little bit trickier on the spine. It helps if you do have a really thick book. But again, I don't go for perfection. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just, and you can experiment and you can always just paint over the whole thing. And I'm holding the stencil in because the spine's kind of bending in a little bit. A little bit tricky. You could lay it out flat if you wanted to, but um, so far we're going okay just holding the spine up like so. It is easy, isn't it? It looks easy and it is easy. It is. Right? It's pretty easy. And but, you know, as with everything, practice, practice makes perfect. And if you stuff it up, it's just paint. Paint over it, sand it off. We well, probably couldn't send it off a book, but... Exactly. And I'm the All expert right. at repainting over to fix it up. There you, you go. There's our right spine. <clears throat> so you can see how that really changes the whole look of that book. Now we'll just go over to the other side just so I can get the finished look. And if you didn't want to, I could reuse this same side, making my stencil all black in one area. I did clean it off for you all. I hope you noticed that. <clears throat> I don't usually... Um, I'm not really a great cleaner of stencils, so. And you don't need to because the fusion paint just seals so well that you It does, but it dries really fast and so, so half fast. the time it, it's all dried on before you can get a chance to, I don't know, maybe just a little bit of laziness there. Okay, holding it still again, little swirls and um, I hope you're all thinking of some creative ideas that you can do this on. The background of signs, it's perfect for that. So you could do the background of signs or you could do that layered look that I showed you with the, the deer here. You could use that on words, lettering, any kind of signs. So don't forget to tag us. You can tag me at 
I restore stuff or you can tag essential stencils. If you do a project and um, you're using one of our st one of essential stencils stencils, please um, tag us in your Facebook post or your Instagram. Love to see what you're working on. If you're using this idea, tag me. That'd be fun. Love to see everybody getting inspiration. Post it on Pinterest. Pin it. You don't post, you pin. Pin it on Pinterest. Ooh, front of drawers with the remainder yes. of the dresser being black. Absolutely. Yeah. Great idea. As Loving well as them. wrapping paper. As yes. Well as mm -hmm. Yep. Creating wrapping paper using this. What else could you use it for? Pillowcases on the yes. bed. Yep. Now, I do love Essential Stencils. has got some lovely kind of... Um, Family stencils or, um, oh, what's the, the one I'm trying to think of now? It's just down there, underneath that set. I don't know if you can grab it. Yep. <clears throat> I was just trying to imagine it on pillows and I think it would be great. Maybe not the top one. Yeah, that forever one. Oh. So let's have a look. What's it say? We decided on forever. And then the other side, we should probably cuddle. Wouldn't that be great on pillows? <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat here. Yes. Yeah, that'd be great on pillows too. Mm. Uh, today, <clears throat> maybe I'll save that for another one. Mm. Um, today we're working on the buffalo check and the deer head. If you were, have just joined us and you missed it earlier, we were working on this deer head cushion here using the IKEA cushions and creating a layered stencil look. So we put the deer down first uh, in black Get a black deer, and then we layered it on top with the buffalo check stencil. And can you just tell them what brush you're using? Oh, it's just a Klingon brush. So it's just a furniture painting brush, because um, that's what I do mainly. Uh, it's a Klingon round brush, and I've just added a rubber band at the end. <clears throat> so that I can shorten the bristles a little bit and it makes it easier for stenciling. So it becomes my stencil brush and not my furniture painting brush. Okay, are we ready for our book reveal? Ta-da, how's that? Just pop that down. So there we go, all the way around. So you can stand that up on your shelf like that. There's a few different decor ideas. The other thing that I did on another book that I've just put, that I've taken it to my shop so I couldn't show you, is just uh, adding a bit of white dry brush to the ends because that kind of looks a bit yellow to me. So I'm just going to grab my brush, probably could put a little bit more on my brush and I'm just dry brushing in there to create a little bit more of a cohesive look. Although I don't think we painted the book covers in this colour white, it's a little bit brighter. But now it kind of blends a bit nicer. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope you'll use this idea for your Christmas decor when you get to your Christmas decorating, of course. Not too early, not too soon, not too late. I'm sure you'll all be decorating just on time once you're finished with all your fall decor. All right, so, and the other thing, the other idea, just when I finish this, is that you can embellish these books. You can put something on the front, um, I don't know, add another stencil. You could add a word stencil to the front if you found something that's nice and small. Holly leaves. <clears throat> Absolutely. Some holly leaves and berries. Anyway, I could go on with a little bit more of that white paint there. I think I'll do that later. Um, but here's another idea, is just grabbing some string and wrapping it around just for a little bit of... People idea. are loving it and that you're making it look so easy, which I agree. Oh. You're great at making it look easy. And it is. easy. Straightforward. So, yeah. Fairly easy. I'll just um, cut that with my scissors. Oops. Bring it down a bit, maybe to about a third or something like that. 
But can you imagine that? And I don't have any here, but with the hollies and berries idea, we'll just tie them on with a little bit of string there. Oh. And you painted the whole book first, right? Yes, painted the whole book, just like this one. It was just an ordinary, I don't know, book that someone was throwing out. Actually, some of the books have that embossed, embossed raised. raised or, um, yeah, embossed mm -hmm. headings on the side, which aren't as great to use, but you, that does certainly cover up a lot with using a stencil on it. So there you go. So there's our great Christmassy decor ideas. Celia, are you ready with some winners there for um. our... My goodness, I am stencil. ready for winners. And yes. don't forget, guys, to use my stencil, use my affiliate link and code in the checkout at Essential Stencils. It's I Restore Stuff. That's the code. Just type that in when you go to place your order and you'll get 10% off your whole Essential Stencil order. They're going to be posting the link in the feed in the comments at the end. So click on that and you'll be able to find it. But our winners today are... Today's winners are Jerry Baldridge. Jerry Baldridge. Jerry... Sue Jassa Engels. Congratulations, Sue. Sue Jassa Engels and Lawrence Sheila. Yay, Lawrence. So those are our winners for today. And you have won the Essential Stencils pack with the deer head and the buffalo check. And like I said, these two are both so versatile. You can use them with so many things like I did on the layering on the lettering. And I hope you have enjoyed that Essential Stencil Live for today. I'm Sharon from iRestore Stuff. Use the code iRestore Stuff uh, when you get your order from Essential Stencils and you'll get 10% off. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. <laughs>